Hello, math friends. Today we're talking about equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions. What are equivalent fractions? Well, we'll get to that in just a minute. First, we're going to check in with Molly. Today is her birthday, and her mother made her this beautiful birthday cake. But then the family went to a movie, and they left the cake on the kitchen table. And when they got back from the movie, there didn't seem to be quite as much cake left. It looked like only half the cake was left. Hmm, wonder what happened there. Well, then Molly noticed, and she exclaimed, Two-fourths of the cake is left. And when her brother noticed, he said that three-sixths of the cake was left. Then the dog noticed, and for some reason, he chimed in and barked something that sounded like three-eighths of the cake is left. So who was right and who was wrong? Well, let's start with what we know. We know that that looked like half a cake, right? But what if that cake had been cut into fourths? Now it kind of looks like two-fourths of the cake was left. And what if it had been cut into six? It kind of looks like three-sixths of the cake was left. And what if it had been cut into eights? That kind of looks like four-eighths of the cake was left. So who was right and who was wrong? It looks like Molly and her brother were right, even though they said different fractions. And surprisingly, the dog's math looked a little bit off. He thought it was three-eighths, and it's really four-eighths. So this gets us back to what are equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are fractions that look different but represent the same amount. Let's take a break from all this cake talk and check out some examples with number lines. Here I have two number lines. They both cover the same space from 0 to 1. The number line on top is cut into three pieces. The dot's two spaces over, and that represents the fraction 2 thirds on bottom. Number lines cut into six pieces, and the dot is four spaces over. It represents the fraction four six. You can see here that the dots represent the same distance along the number line. That means that they represent the same value. They are equivalent fractions. That means they're equal, but they're just written differently because of the fraction they represent. Let's try another. Here we have a model. It's kind of like fraction strips all stacked up on top of each other. This helps us see which fractions represent the same amount, because wherever the lines line up, those fractions are equivalent. Let's try one together. Let's see if we can find a fraction that's equivalent to one-third. Well, looks like in the row of six, I've got some things that line up here. Looks like if I use two of the six, that's going to be the same amount as a third. So one-third is equal to or equivalent to two-sixths. Let's try another one like that. Here I have a fourth. Do you see anything that looks like it lines up with a fourth? How about in the eighths? If I go two eighths over, that's going to be the same amount. Do you see it? There it is. One fourth is equal or equivalent to two eighths. Let's look at another example. Mmm, a brownie example. Delicious. Okay, let's see. Who could be equivalent here? Hmm, um, well, they each have some brownie left, and they each have some blank space. And the one in the middle looks like it has more blank space. So I think the one on the left and the one on the right are equivalent, and the one in the middle is not. It looks like less brownie there. So 6 eighths and 3 fourths are equal. They're equivalent fractions. Okay, let's look at these two number lines. They both represent the space from 0 to 1, but the one on bottom is broken into two pieces, so that first tick mark is 1 half. Is there another way I could write the number 1 here? Anybody have a guess? If you guess two halves, you are correct. Two halves is equivalent to one. Madness, right? It gets crazier because that works for your other number lines too. This top one separated into three pieces and the one could be three thirds. Here, four pieces, four fourths, six pieces, six six, and eight pieces, eight eighths. They're all equivalent to the value of one. Okay. If you are wondering about cookie cake and representing a whole, well, you can do the same thing here. So each of these represents one whole cookie cake. They're just written differently because of the way the cakes are cut. Okay, now you can go have an equivalent fractions party.